17 million cosmetic procedures were performed in the U.S. last year, but not all of them went as planned. About 10 percent, some of them breast implants, were while there were a big problem. And, and Andrew, ABC's Andrew Canning is here now to explain. I, I don't even know how to sort of <laughs> uh, get into this, so I will let you do that. Yeah, this is a bizarre one, and it's not that common, thankfully. Good morning, Lara. Well, women who have breast implants, of course, run the risk of infection, scarring, and even ruptures. And there's a lesser-known condition called the uniboo, or somastia, in which the two implants become joined. It's not only unattractive, it can be extremely painful. One woman I sat down with says the pain and embarrassment was so bad she tried to kill herself. And I just want to let everyone know this report has some images which may not be appropriate for all ages. It's become an all too common story. Patients becoming disfigured or even dying in the name of beauty. From celebrities like Lisa Rinna, who recently reversed the size of her uneven and oversized lips, to Tara Reid, who was publicly embarrassed by lumpy liposuction and botched breasts. Sharon Osbourne revealed this month on The Talk she just had her implants removed. I went to a fabulous surgeon and she said to me, that's leaking, that, that boob there is leaking, so the implant was leaking. Denora Rodriguez is a 40-year-old stay-at-home mom who struggled with body image after having her two daughters. So in 1998, she boosted her confidence with breast implants, going from a B cup to a C cup. How happy were you when you had your breast implants? I was happy because they looked exactly the way they looked before I had my kids. So I was very satisfied, and my husband too. Nearly a decade later, Denora decided to trade in her old implants for new ones. I feel safe. I proceed with the surgery. But the procedure turned into a living nightmare. When I woke up, I couldn't move at all. I was in a devastated condition. I was crying. I was screaming, screaming. I was in a devastated pain. I was screaming for help. Denora developed conjoined breasts, or a uniboob, a medical condition called somastia. I just felt like I was ruined. What went wrong? During a normal implant procedure, two pockets are created under the muscle behind the breast, one for each implant. But in Denora's case, the doctor who ultimately fixed her says she ended up with one large pocket and the two implants joined together, essentially creating one breast. After the initial shock wears off, how do you feel after that? Is it embarrassment? Is it depression? What are you thinking? Anger and depression. I felt like I couldn't handle the pain anymore. I was going crazy. My kids suffer a lot because they have to stay up all night taking care of me. They got so tired and I, I see their faces was like there was time when they were getting tired. Mm -hmm. Was that one of the hardest Having things taken care of me. to deal with your children? Yes. How bad did your depression get? So bad that there was a time when, where, when I tried to suicide myself. You tried to kill yourself? Yes, because I couldn't take the pain. The doctor Denora is blaming for the uniboob tells GMA she's adamant the surgery went well. She says she did create two pockets, but the somastia developed later because Denora's muscle tissue was too weak and compromised from her original surgery. Nine months later, Denora went to see Dr. Steven Teitelbaum. What did you think when you saw Denora's chest for the first time? Actually, the first time I saw it was, wow, this is terrible, but I think I can fix it. And he did. Here's the before and after. He's treated over a hundred cases of somastia and says this was one of the worst cases he's ever seen. I removed the old implants, I attached the skin here back down to her breastbone, and I made two new separate pockets. Patients wake up from this operation and they know whether or not they were fixed. You can tell right away. But surgery and medicine is still not a perfect in science. The better the training a doctor has, the fewer the complications they're going to have. And because it's not a perfect science, experts say to do your homework. Try to go with a doctor with a clean record. They are required to disclose their history. You can check their records online. Also, ask doctors if they have hospital privileges and ask how many procedures they've done. And look closely at those before and after photos, which most doctor's offices have that you can look at so you can kind of see the work. This had to have taken quite a toll on her marriage. I mean, she was 
seemingly devastated. She, she said it almost ended their marriage. She was so embarrassed in the bedroom. It, right. it, she had major intimacy issues after that. But her husband really stood by her, and they did end up obviously getting through right. it. But it was it was not easy. All right, Andrew Kinning, thank you very much.